Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be talking some Steinway pianos. My guests today are John McLaren and Brandon Herrenbrook from Steinway. I would like to thank both of you for joining me here today. Thank you. And uh, we're talking Steinways because Troy University has done it. They have become an all Steinway school. It's been an initiative in place for a little time now, but finally they've unveiled the pianos. So first off, uh, how does it feel as representative of Steinway to see a new school be included into the fold of all Steinway schools? It's a tremendous accomplishment, a, a tremendous feeling of, mm -hmm. of pride that we share with the schools. We, it, over the last years that this initiative has been uh, underway, uh, not only have we uh, become friends with the people in the music department, but really all over the university and we we sort of feel like we're we're part of you guys now. So it's a it's an outstanding feeling, and uh, really to see the reaction on the students' faces when those pianos rolled in uh, on Monday night that was very very special. And now, what exactly does this mean for the university now that they are all, an all Steinway school? Uh, what kind of benefits come from that sort of thing? Uh, there are a few uh, that come to mind. Uh, there is a there is this this, this cachet that comes along with becoming an all Steinway school. Uh, Steinway is uh, known as being the world's best piano, not because Steinway says it, it's because of the rep reputation. And uh, there are now a little over 170, including Troy worldwide, uh, that have that distinction, and that is a distinction of excellence in Troy's uh, vision and and. Um, uh, the mantra of, of Troy is all about excellence and see everything that they do so it fits it fits well with with Steinway and Steinway fits well with Troy and of course uh, now the number of pianos how, exactly how many Steinway pianos does Troy have in their collection now I believe the count now is 28 okay total uh, there are several uh, grand pianos and uh, uh, quite a few uh, vertical pianos that go into teaching studios and practice rooms and of course, the variety of those, normally you see the performance pieces, the grand pianos, the nice pianos, but then you mentioned there, the including the, the, the upright pianos that are going into practice facilities, rooms that no one's probably ever going to see, but that establishes a basis for this entire program that they're, all they're doing is playing on the Steinway pianos. That's correct. There will be now no surprises uh, from the practice room to the stage because the Steinway pianos in the practice rooms are built with the same quality and the same uh, uh, scale designs and different uh, aspects of those pianos that are going to be very, very close uh, to those concert grands that they'll be playing and performing on. Now, uh, comparison to other schools that are all Steinway schools, you mentioned the number of the pianos that Troy has. How, do they, how does that compare to the other schools we may see across the country? Well, Stein, with, with the All Steinway Schools, we have uh, a, a wide array. The minimum in any institution that becomes an All Steinway School has to have is at least 10. But uh, if you look at some of the larger institutions like CCM in Cincinnati, they, I think, if memory serves, have the largest number of in, uh, Steinways in their fleet, and that's 165. Uh, but the vast majority uh, probably fall maybe where Troy is in a little, a little north uh, of what they have. And of course, with that number and with being an all Steinway school, I guess one of the big elements is recruiting, uh, bringing students in to play these. And now Troy can say, hey, you're going to come and play on what's considered by me to be the best. Uh, would you agree with that, that this is going to be something that may bump that music uh, recruiting? Yeah. There's no question about it. Uh, the, the, the benefit that it's going to uh, have, you know, the sound of the South and uh, uh, the instrumental part of the music department has been legendary. Uh, but uh, now we add uh, the uh, being the All Steinway School to that, and it becomes all of a sudden a extremely well-rounded uh, music program, and uh, uh, that's going to have benefits both uh, locally, regionally, and especially internationally. The head of the piano department uh, here at Troy is uh, is uh, from Taiwan, and is also now a Steinway artist. And so she'll be touring uh, China this summer, recruiting, and with Troy's international reach and with the cachet that Steinway brings and with her talent, it's going to be a great, great benefit. And I know uh, the benefits will, will continue in the School of Music and all around in that recruiting aspect. Uh, 
internationally and nationally, locally. And I know uh, a lot of people are excited that this initiative has finally come to fruition, that we have gotten the pianos here in place. And I know you all are excited about the fact the pianos are here yeah. and uh, that this relationship is established and is, is there. And I want to thank both of you for joining me here today and uh, and welcome you to Troy as a part of the, the family now as an all Steinway school. And uh, yeah. thank you both for joining me here today on Trojan Talk. Thank you. Eric. Thank you very much. All right, and thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.